hello hello and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Sharifa also known as Sharifa Samora and I'm so excited that you are here today so if you love videos about luxury products especially luxury bags in-depth reviews everything luxury please do not forget to hit that subscribe button because I will be bringing you more videos also, if you want to stay up to date of what I'm doing during the day, styling videos, and just like little snaps of my life, please do not forget to follow along on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook. I would love you to join in those communities as well. So what are we going to talk about today? So today's video will be a review of the Chanel Coco top handle bag, which I bought in June 2022, and I thought, would be good to do a review of this bag because it's quite a popular style of Chanel and this bag is more affordable than the classic flap but it has all the perfect Chanel futures so I just thought let's do an in-depth review how I've been loving this bag how I've been liking it so I'm going to show you the bag so this is my Coco top handle bought in June 2022 uh, it's in a size small pink with champagne hardware I love this bag. I honestly, what I love the most of it is, if you guys can see it here, is the top handle. Um, I'm going to write down the measurements. I need to like either find it on the website or just use my measurement tool. But so I bought this bag in the summer of 2022. Actually, heading to the boutique asking for a trendy because that one was on my list. Not knowing that trendies are actually seasonal bags. It's the other beautiful top handle bag from Chanel and that they kind of it's either a trendy that is coming out or a Coco top handle so they only had Coco top handles in amazing colors by the way it came in this color I saw a green one um, but they were going fast super fast because one of the nice things of a Coco top handle is that it has a flap it has all the features uh, of a true Chanel bag so it has the diamond quilting some of them are coming in chevron um, it is caviar like we all know how hard it is to find smaller or seasonal Chanel bags in caviar instead of leather skin leather. And um, what I also like about it, it has a top handle, but it also has a strap, which makes it easy to wear cross body and you can remove the strap. And the details on the straps, they're also branded. As you can see over here, it has a CC logo. I don't know if you guys can see it, otherwise I'm gonna zoom it in. And I also love that it has a piece of leather at the shoulder part of the bag. And of course, you've got the chain interwoven with the leather. So I truly, truly love this bag. Another feature of it is it has the back pocket as well. It is a little bit small to put in a phone, which I do a lot with my other bags, but you can put in a card or something else, like a receipt, something you do not want to miss. But, and another great feature of the bag, it has feet so this is the small version of the coco top handle in caviar in pink came out in the summer of 2022 so it's one of my favorite bags but it is truly a summer color i'm not sure if i like i do want to have this size or maybe one size up this is the small maybe one size up in a nice color as well because i enjoy this bag and with this one i didn't want to put a scarf or a twilly but because I do love the handle, it has these funny details on it. So before I forget, before I say let's open it up, it has another typical Chanel feature over here. It has the interlock with the CC logo, which is known for Chanel. So I'm gonna open this bag up and show you guys what's in my bag. So this is what the flap looks like from the inside. And this is what I'm carrying in my bag on a regular summer day or just on a daily basis. So I might, I feel like a sunglasses with sunglasses case would not fit. So that is the only downside of it. But what's in my bag currently, I will open it up. I'm carrying my phone, iPhone 13 Pro Max. I have my AirPods. And then this is the first compartment over here. It has a middle compartment, which I actually hardly use. If I would use this one over here, I would put cash in it. And then it has the back compartment. I have a Chanel card holder. I have different card holders. So I would always use a card holder instead of a wallet. And of course, my hand cream. I do like, this is what it looks like when it's like all open, nothing in it. This is the inside of the Coco top handle in small. 
It has a, a compartment at the back with a zipper where you can also like put stuff in it. So it is a small bag, of course it has a small size, it's being compared with a trendy a lot. I might do a review um, with the trendy as well, like side to side, small trendy with a small cocoa handle. But I do feel it's a great bag for what you're paying for. So pricing, pricing of this bag, like I always find it a little bit hard to talk about pricing of Chanel because the pricing day, like it changes a lot. But by the time I bought this, it was about half of what you would pay for a classic flap. So, and I wanted a nice funky color. I wanted caviar. And in complete honesty, I actually prefer this one over my classic flap. I think I've mentioned it before, I have classic flaps, but my classic flaps are my least worn Chanel bags. I have them because I'm a collector, I will never get rid of them. So I've worn this bag to a lot of dinner outings at summer or lunches or um, so I can like easily dress it up. But during the day you can easily style it as well. And that's the that's because of the chain, because you can wear it crossbody as well. And I feel it is so much more versatile for me compared to the um, Chanel Classic flat bag. And it's just beautiful. Some of people, some critics will say it has a little bit Hermes vibe going on, but I truly find it a very much Chanel-like bag. The pricing is amazing. It holds up pretty well. I find the wear and tear after seven months I'm looking to see if no I find it excellent I am um, I want this back in as many colors as possible but I have to behave but I find it a perfect perfect Chanel bag it is so easy cannot wait to have this one in another color as well it's just cute it looks so adorable do I have no nothing I really do not have much wear of tear and I've worn this bag a lot because I love colors in the summer I'm all about prints and colors and this is amazing summer bag for me so I might want to have this also in maybe a white version or another like funky color I'm definitely going to add that to my collection uh, I love this champagne hardware I'm more of a silver girl but I also do love the champagne hardware of Chanel um, yeah I do not have a lot of cons, maybe because this size is a little bit small, maybe the other bag I want is a little bit bigger, but there's something cute about this size as well, so not many cons for me. This is one of my most favorite Chanel bags, um, I think it, number one for me might be a 19, and then it comes down to like the 22, and this one I also love a trendy, I might do a comparison between a trendy and the Coco top handle. They are very different bags, but still both beautiful. And the trendy actually comes, I've never seen a trendy in caviar yet, so it comes in lambskin. Where this one comes in different, I've seen them in tweed, I've seen them in different colors, I've seen them in caviar, I've seen them in lambskin, I've seen them in patent. So I've seen more variation in the Coco top handle than I've seen in the trendy, but it also could be me because I'm actually starting to visit the boutique more as of this year. Before that, I was not, not really a regular visitor at the boutique, but um, yeah, this is an amazing bag. If this would definitely get my vote as your first Chanel bag if you look for if you're looking for a Chanel experience, but do not want to pay for a classic flap. In terms of heaviness. I do not feel that this bag is super heavy. I find it perfect. It does not bother me when I use the strap. It does not bother me when I use the top handle. I find it just like a very cute bag. I love this bag. So um, not really a lot of cons. I mean, only con would be the price, but that's something that's old news you kind of know. I find it a perfect Chanel bag. If you have any questions about this, do let me know. This is what it looks like from the side. The bag, it's just, it's just very, very beautiful and really one of my favorite bags. So do let me know what you think about the Coco top handle. Let me know if you would like to see any other bags as well, if you would like to see the comparison. So thank you so much for watching today. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And please do not forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Wish you an amazing day and see you soon. Bye bye.